Hi everyone, welcome back to my next video. As you can see, I'm standing in front of a big sign that says Pilot Knob Long-Term Visitor Area. And the main thrust of what I wanna tell you today is there is a tremendous job opportunity for some of you who still have to work and need to get the best paying job that you possibly can. And now you might be wondering what's the, com what's the co uh, connection between uh, this Pilot Knob and a job? Well, uh, the location is the great thing about this. First, you're going to stay here for, you spend $180 and you get seven months of rent. You can stay here for seven months. That's less than $20 a month uh, to, to stay here. You won't be hassled. Uh, you can stay here that whole seven months. And we're only just right over there uh, is, to the east is about 20 minutes drive or about 20 miles on the freeway is Yuma, Arizona. And Yuma, Arizona is a big town with lots and lots of jobs. And I'm thinking of one very specific job, but there are many, many jobs. I mean, if you just wanted to get fast food jobs, which pay pretty well anymore, and you wanted to stay in for seven months and pay, you know, and you pay $180 and you don't pay any more rent, you're not being chased around, you're not burning gas except to drive into town to work and come back. And so it is a really great combination of almost free rent, hassle-free, and an opportunity for great, great jobs. But the great job I have in mind is school bus driving, which just happens to run about seven months. Schools are having a hard time getting enough school bus drivers. You may have been in a town and see them having a big, their buses are out in downtown or somewhere and they got a big sign up saying, come drive for us. Well, they have a hard time getting enough drivers and almost all of them will get your CDL driver's license for you. It's not an over-the-road truck license, it's a, it's a below that, but it's the kind of license that will let you drive a tour bus, and that is a fantastic license to have, because there are lots and lots of jobs all over the country once you have your CDL license. So if you come here, you spend your $180 just here for seven months, September through April, and that is, isn't that just about a school season? So they'll get you your driver's license, your CDL driver's license, and then you just stay here and you go to work and you come home and you save a whole bunch of money and you walk away with your CDL license. And that's just, that's a ticket to make money all over the country, a CDL license. There's a desperate need for more CDL drivers. And so I think this is a fantastic opportunity. But even if you don't want to, to pursue a CDL license, become a school bus driver, I was actually a school bus driver for five years in Anchorage, Alaska. I really enjoyed the job. I, I did it for five years, so I must have enjoyed it. And I, I, we didn't, weren't required to have CDLs back then. But if I were looking for a job today, that's the job I'd get is, is school bus driver. And then I, I would use that as a stepping stone to do other things with my CDL. Uh, but it's a great, great entryway into having your CDL. CDL stands for Commercial Driver's License. Once you have your CDL, you've got a job waiting for you anywhere in the country. I can almost guarantee it. But it doesn't have to be driving. So you could just go into, uh, into Yuma and get a job at, a, at McDonald's. I mean, anymore, uh, low-wage jobs pay pretty high wages because they just got to pay more to get people to work for them. So again, you're spending, you spend $180. You got to pay it up front. You don't pay rent for seven more months. You're probably going to have to be here before September. You're going to have to be here in August, probably, to get that job, secure it, and then stay through the through the season. Um, and it's going to be incredibly hot in in Yuma in uh, in August, in September, and October. November starts to cool down. It'll still be hot, but not deadly hot. And then by December, November, December, you're probably okay. January, February are pleasant. March is getting hot again. April is really hot. Uh, May is just uh, boiling. You're, you're boiling away down here. You're probably going to have to have uh, a, a generator and run an air conditioning, maybe just a window air conditioning. And at the t LTVAs, you either have to have a, they require a 10 gallon uh, black water tank installed, or then you're, they consider you self-contained, or you have to park near a toilet. Now I'm assuming there's a toilet here. So I think it's a great opportunity to and and if you don't become a CDL, then you can get you can come here anytime. There's jobs here. Uh, it's a snowbird place. Uh, Yuma explodes with snowbirds, particularly Canadians. I know a number of Canadians that that store their RVs here in RV parks. They pay for the whole year, and then it comes out pretty cheap if you pay for the whole year. 
and then they're only here for six months. They fly in, they go, home, they fly home, leave their RV parked in their space. And so there's a lot of snowbirds here. So it ex it explodes, and they have to do a lot of hiring for the snowbird season. And so there's a job waiting here for you. I will guarantee there's a job waiting here for you, unless there's just some reason you're unemployable. Uh, there's a job here, and this would be a great way to do it. Now, there's also a lot of uh, dispersed camping. In fact, just down the road is where I camp. Uh, I probably, it's 1.6 miles. There's a sign that says that. 1.6 miles down this road, uh, there is where I usually camp and go into Algodonas. Algodonas is another two miles over there. That's why I always come here, is because when I go to Algodonas, I camp right here beside Pilot Knob, and so I'm pretty familiar with it. But there's camping all over. American Girl Mine is probably another 10 miles out there, tons and tons of camping. There are other LTVAs. There's other uh, lots of dispersed camping spots around here. You can go to, you could just move, you could never pay, but then you have the hassle of, of being chased around. Um, that's why there's an advantage to, to going into the LTVA. It's only $180 for the season. If you know you're going to be here for that long, I think it's well worth it. You do get at least trash here. So I think this is a great opportunity for a great job. And if you're thinking about uh, an LTVA and you need work, this is where I would be going. And I'd be thinking really seriously about driving school bus. I never, I, like I said, I did it for five years. I never had a problem. I had one time in the whole five years, I had to turn around and I told them, you kids, you're going to stop that. You're going to sit down. You're going to behave. Or I'm going to turn the bus around. We're going to go back to the school. And that's just what I did. Took them back to the school, let them off. I drove back to the barn. Uh, you don't really have, you're not alone out there. You're on the radio at all times. You can always just go back. You have a lot of, that puts the real fear in these kids. And you're going to turn around and take them back to school because then they're not getting home. Their parents are coming to get them. It's a, just a huge hassle. You're, you're in pretty good shape. It's not really a hard job at all. I enjoyed it a lot. Okay, so I just wanted you to know about this job opportunity, I think, uh, and it doesn't have to, again, it can be working at McDonald's, it can be working at, it can be working anywhere. It's, it's a big city, uh, there's lots and lots of jobs, I'm sure you can find a job that you would either like or at least tolerate. Uh, that's good enough sometimes, isn't it? And then maybe you could spend a whole summer, that whole uh, uh, winter here, take seven months, and build up enough and not have to work for another couple of years. Uh, that's why we do this. For $180 for your whole rent, for the whole time you're working, you can do it. You'll Every penny you get, you put in the bank, and you probably wouldn't have to work for a year or two. So seven long months, uh, it could be hot, it could be, you know, dusty and dirty, and um, but then, you're, then you don't work again for two years maybe, a year or two. That's well worth it to me. That's buying your freedom uh, with a sacrifice and then having all that freedom to do what you want to do not to do what the man tells you to do. Well, I hope you got something out of this video. If you did, like us on YouTube, subscribe to the channel, hit that thumbs up button, and we'll talk to you later. Bye now. <music>